Hello, Vio. Welcome to Science Hub. I'm Jordan Minyoki. And I, Brian Mondi. We are Form 2 students from the Cornerbrook School, where learning is fun. Today, we shall be taking you through Trigonometry 1. Now, Trigonometry. This is a type of mathematics that deals with the relationship between sides and the angles of a triangle. In the past chapter, we were taught about the Pythagoras theorem that stated a squared plus b squared will give you c squared, in which a squared was the base of the triangle, b squared being the height of the triangle, and c squared as the hypotenuse. Now we shall be learning about trigonometric ratios which will replace the Pythagoras theorem in sine, tangent, and cosine. Sine being the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse side, tangent being the ratio of the opposite and the adjacent side, and cosine being the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side. For example, in the formula cos of is equal to adjacent of a hypotenuse and sin equals to opposite of a hypotenuse and tan equals to opposite of adjacent can be simplified in a simple formula. So, Kartoa, meaning the same thing, sin equals to opposite of a hypotenuse, cos equals to adjacent of a hypotenuse and tan equals to opposite of adjacent. Then, the triangle, a right angle triangle, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. For a real example, we use a triangle Find the angle X. See, X is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse, which is 4 all over 5. Because X is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so it will be 3 all over 5. And tan x will be opposite over adjacent to be 4 over 3. So, using trigonometry, we can actually get actual values of the sides of a triangle, and in the same, same time, we can still get the angles between the sides of the triangle. Now what he has done here, he showed you the sine of x, you get 4 over 5. Sine being the opposite of the angle, 4, and 5 being the hypotenuse of the triangle. Now if we were to continue further with this, we would say the sine of x <coughs> the sine of x being 4 over 5, you get the sine inverse of x. So the sine inverse of x equals to 4 over 5. What you get here as a decimal, if you divide 4 over 5, you get 53.13. The decimal. 53.13. The decimal as in what you get when you divide 4 over 5. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Then you get the sine inverse of 0 0.8. You end up getting 53.13 degrees. Now we'll have gotten the angle of x in this triangle. 
Now let's write on a basic question. Find the value of the unknown side in the following figure. Now, in this question, we are not given the height and the hypotenuse. We are asked to find the height and the base. That's what we are not given. We are asked to find them. We will apply the formula Sokatoa, which states that sine equals the opposite of a hypotenuse. Sine. Sine that two equals to x over hypotenuse which is sixteen. Sine that two, sine that two in the calculator you get zero point five five two two nine nine x over sixteen. You find the value x times 16 all over 1 then 16 all over 1 which will give us 8.478 meaning x will be 8.478 then it will come cut cut and send it out there it's in the of the 16 so we have a 16 what? turn that over the 2 also say it's in the text of the 16 so we have a 16 so we have a 16 So it should be one. In this triangle, yeah. In this triangle, we are given that y is the height and x is the base. So, and we are given hypotenuse is 16 and we are given the angle. So, we use this angle and the hypotenuse to get x and y. We use sine. Sine equals the opposite of a hypotenuse. Opposite of that two is y. y over hypotenuse which is 16. So, sign. Sign that two is the same as zero point five two nine nine y over sixteen times one times sixteen all over one times sixteen all over one. We get that y get that y will be eight point four. Y represents the height eight point four. Then we come to X. We look at the ratio so katoa and C cannot apply cos will apply. So it'll be cos that two. Cos cos that two is equals to adjacent which is x all over hypotenuse which is sixteen. We use our calculator and type in cos that two, which will be zero point eight four eight. 8, 4, 8, x, number 16.
times 16 level 1 times 16 level 1 you get 13.56 Nineteen point five six will be the base x. Making this the full triangle and you are given the measure. We can also get this angle using the same measurements. This will be done. This will be done by applying C. Let's give it a, let's say sin x. Sin x, sin x equals to, this is the opposite of our new angle, 13.56. All over hypotenuse. Sin x equals to opposite of our Opportunities. Our opportunities will be 16. And you will see inverse. See inverse of this number. 3.56. So level 16. Which will be? 0 0.8475. 0 0.8475. You need to get the same thing. Or 0 0.87. So it's going to 57. Point nine four. Sin inverse. It will be fifty seven point nine four. Fifty seven point nine four. Which when you round off to the nearest whole number, you'll get fifty eight. And when you add, you'll get a total of one eighty, which is the total total angle will add up to an 80 in a triangle. Okay, we have come to the conclusion of our topic for today. I am uh, Jordan Nyoki. And I am Mwangi. Keep it Elimu TV where watch we watch and, and learn. learn. Thank you.